Very good afternoon to you, my brothers and sisters at New Life Fellowship. I surely miss you, miss hearing your voices, missing your smiles. Almost two years that we then get to see each other. I hope you and your family are doing well. With this world pandemic and pandemics coming to Cambodia have separated us from each other. But I trust God to protect you and to protect your family as well. So far, I can see that the hand of the Almighty God was with you and your family. For this lesson today, I would like to encourage us to continue to tune into God. I would call it Godly Channel. You know, when you look at the scripture in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, the scripture said, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The thieves, who are the thieves? The thief in the real life, they don't go to you, go to your family to make peace, to reward it to you, but they steal things from you. They steal hope from you. They steal joys from you. They steal what belong to you away from you. They steal from you, they kill you, and they destroy you. When you look at this COVID-19, they steal all of that away from us. They separate us from each other, and they even kill many lives. Over a hundred lives of Cambodian people got stolen from us, from our family. We're so sad about this. But on the other hand, we trust in the Lord God. We continue to pray and trust in the Lord God that the Lord God will help you and help I. We'll help our churches. We'll have our churches' families and members to be safe. Because he said, I come. Jesus already came. He's here with me. He's here with you in his spirit. He said he came that you and I have life. I believe that you and I have life. What is that life? Where does that life come from? It's the life come from the Lord our God. Come from Jesus. Come from Jesus' love. That he want to give this life to me. Give this life to you. And this life is abundant. It's not just a simple life. This life is hard. But Jesus can help given you and I. Strengthen you and I. So that we overcome. We can overcome this destruction to the devil, to the demons wanting to kill us, wanting to destroy us, wanting to separate us away from each other. You know, I would encourage us to continue to tune into godly channel. There are so many channels. We are so curious about it. Facebook channel, YouTube channel, TikTok channel. There's like different channels. I don't know all about that, but you all may know. Some channels did not help you at all. Only to disturb you, only to stir the fear within you and cause more fear, cause more anxiety, cause more, cause more worries and all that. 
Therefore, I would like to invite us to go to the Godly Channel. Godly Channel, it's a channel that we can tune into God. God said, the channel of God said, God said, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Did I say I'm here? I am with you. I have not left you yet. I am with you to the end of the earth. This is what he said. He did not leave you. He did not leave, you, leave me yet. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, God said, call to me. God said, call to him. Call to me. I will answer you. Meaning, this God is waiting to hear from you and I. This God is waiting to hear your call. Call to Him. Call. I can call. You can call. Call to me and I will answer you. He is not deaf God. He is he's not a God that ignore you and ignore me. He is waiting to listen to your call. He said, call to me. I will answer you and will tell you. God said, I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things. There are some great things that is for you. There are some great things. There are some great things for me. You and I did not see yet. You and I did not hear yet. That was hidden. But you, when you call upon God, when you call to God, and God will reveal that to you and to, uh, to me. The great thing. And you and I will see and know that. You'll know that. Ask God for advice. Ask God for guidance. Ask God for direction. He will for sure be help you. Just call upon his name. I would like to encourage you. Do not give up on calling upon the name of the Lord God. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13. I'm reading from ESV. Chapter 13, uh, chapter, uh, verse 13 said, Everyone, everyone, you and I, Everyone, whoever, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone in this world, call upon the name of the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord. You will be saved. You will be saved of your sin. Ask God for forgiveness of your sin. God will help you to forgive your sin. Ask God to help you in your life. God will do that. God will help you in your life. Because call on the name of the Lord. You'll be safe. Call upon the name of the Lord. You'll be safe. You will be safe from this bad pandemic. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. I'm reading from New Living Translation. You can ask. You and I can ask anything in my name. God said, you can ask anything in my name. In whose name? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask anything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I will do it. Ask. You just ask. All you need to do is just ask anything in His name and He will do it. So that the Son, the Son means the Lord Jesus Christ, can bring glory to the Father. Why glory? Because there is a miracle when you call. Suddenly, you, you would say, praise God. The Lord God just help me with this. The Lord God just help me with that. When you call upon the name, ask anything in God's name, 
He will have you. And the name of the Lord our God will be glorified. Glorify the Father. So, wow. The Lord God just did this to me. The Lord God just healed me. The Lord God just restored my family. The Lord God just unite us together. Verse 14. Just ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. He kept on saying, ask in my name. Ask in my name. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. My brothers and sisters, at this point of time, you might have a lot of need in your life. You might have a lot of need. Maybe you need God to protect you. And I know for sure you can ask God to protect you. Maybe you need God to protect your family members. I believe that the Lord God can protect your family members. Maybe you ask God to protect your spouses. I'm sure that the Lord God can protect your spouses. Maybe you need some food assistance in your family. Ask God to provide you with food. Maybe God can help you with that. Maybe you need to ask God to provide you with finance. You need finance to pay for your renting, to pay for your mortgage and all that. I believe that God can do it. Maybe you're in depression and say, oh, I am so depressed. I'm so stressed. Maybe you ask God, God can do that as well. Maybe you are in anxiety, anxiety. You feel like, how come this is not me? Of course, it's all right. Ask God. Maybe you feel you start to become like an angry person. You're angry at this. You're angry at that. You're angry at your husband. You're angry at your wife. You're angry at your kids. You say, this is not me. Maybe you are raged. Just ask God, my brothers and sisters. He can help you. He has all the answers for this world. Our God is the God that cares. He is with us. He is not so far away from us. In the book of Romans as well, chapter 10, verse 11. I'm going to read from Good New Translation. The scripture says, Whoever believes in Him, whoever believes in Him, Him is who? Him is Jesus. Whoever believes in Jesus will not be disappointed. Whoever you can believe in him. You can put your trust in Jesus. You will not be disappointed at all. You will not be disappointed. This is what the scriptures say. This is what the word of God said. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. This is the word of God. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Millions and millions and millions of people have trust, have put their trust in the Word of God. And they did not get disappointed. My brothers and sisters, it's time for us to continue to tune in to the channel of God, which is the Word of God the Bible, prayer, and get together and meet with the church members, get together to meet 
in cell group, church meeting, through Zooms, and all that. We can't afford to lose this momentum of building our faith through meeting other believers, strong believers. This is the time for us. Don't miss any services that we have at our church. Continue to be in the services. Continue to be in the service of Bible study. No more of the Bible. No more of the Word of God. You might be tired by now because it's been too long. You might want to give up. You might want to stop. This is too much. You might think it's too much for you. It's not worth it. But the scripture said, another scripture in the book of Psalm, chapter 46, verse 10 to 11. I am reading from New, In, uh, New International Version. He said, be still. God said, be still and know. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Verse 11. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The scriptures say, be still. Maybe you and I, you don't need to fight anymore. Maybe you and I just rest in God. Just rest in God. Stop stress, stressing in the thing that you cannot do. With all your ability, you cannot win a way. You need God to intervene in this. Maybe you just rest in God. Just rest in God. Say, God, I'm going to stop fighting. I'm going to be still. I'm going to let you do it all. Because you have better ability than I am. You can do it better than I am. Maybe you just hand this thing to God. Don't get discouraged, my brothers and sisters. Like what I said, sometimes we cannot deal with it with our own ability. It's not enough strength. It's not enough power. It's not enough energy to fight with this long period of time of this pandemic. You don't need to do that. Let God do it for you. Just rest in God. I don't know where you are at right now, but it doesn't hurt right to get more prayer. I would like to pray for you. I would like to pray for your family as well. Join with me. I'm going to pray for you. My Heavenly Father, Lord God, that cross that you took more than 2,000 years ago. You pay for it all, Lord God. That nail that pierces him, Lord God, you pay for it all, Lord God. That's why your scripture said, by the stripe that the Lord Jesus Christ took, that we are healed. By his stripe that we are healed. Lord God, I ask, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, is there any one of my brothers and sisters who are sick, Lord God? Because your word said by the stripe of the Lord Jesus Christ that we are healed. Lord God, heal every one of them, Lord God. Because you are the God that loving and caring for them, Lord God. Heal every one of them. 
completely in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, if my brothers and sisters that got COVID, Lord God, I ask that in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, heal, heal that COVID diseases in, in them, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you will heal by hundreds, hundreds of people, Lord God. Heal them all, Lord God. Because your word said, ask anything in my name and I will do it. Lord God, maybe some of my brothers and sisters feel like not safe in their heart. Lord God, be with them and comfort them. Maybe some of them, Lord God, need some help financially. Lord God, help them as well, Lord God. That, like Paul said, my God, meet all of my needs. Show supplies all of my needs. Lord God, meet the need of my brothers and sisters of our churches. Lord God, only you can meet the need, Lord God. Bless everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and break all of that chain, break all of that diseases and sicknesses and meet all the needs in your precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, everyone.